Um, hi everyone, I'm Gillian and welcome to Face Aaron Online. I'm delighted to be teaching some beginner fiddle workshops and this is number one. So nice to see you all here. Um, these workshops are aimed for beginners, um, not complete beginners unfortunately. Um, if you're a complete beginner, i.e. you've never played before, then um, you'll need a wee bit more time just before you're ready to start playing some tunes. So this would be really if you can play a couple of tunes already. And if you are here um, with a different instrument, then you're also welcome. Um, we're going to be learning a couple of tunes, two tunes by ear, and I'm going to spread those two tunes out over the four workshops. And the music for these you'll be able to download either on the FACE website or on the Facebook page. So you can have that ready um, if you want to. You can pause and you can go and get the music if you haven't already done so. Um, so what we'll do first of all is we'll just check that our instruments are in tune. And obviously fiddle um, is a wee bit of a tricky instrument just to try and keep in tune. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just check our strings just now, our four strings. And as long as you are fairly close to, to my string, the sound of my strings, then um, you should be fine, okay? If not, then you might want to pause and go and try and get the fiddle tuned. So that might mean maybe you've got an app on a phone or something yourself that you can use. Maybe you need to ask help from someone at home. And if nobody knows how to do it, then there are some YouTube ut uh, tutorials that um, maybe you or someone at home could have a look at and have a little shot of tuning it. But just be really careful um, because strings have been known to break before. Um, best to try and use the fine tuners here down at the bottom. So here's an A, okay? So let's listen to this A and you can check yours and hopefully we'll all be in tune. Okay, we'll try that again. Okay, and we'll try the D. And again, the D. And we'll try the G now. And again the G and the E and the E again. Okay, so fingers crossed um, your fiddle was, was pretty much in tune with that um, and we can make a start. So we're going to do a couple of little warm-ups. Um, maybe you haven't played for a few weeks if you've not been getting your usual lessons. Maybe you haven't played since the face last year. Um, so it's good to just warm up and just get, um, yeah, get back into the way of playing. So what we'll do is um, we'll start off first of all by just doing some long notes on the open strings. So what we're going to do is we are going to start on the G and we're going to play each string for four beats, just trying to keep our bow nice and straight and smooth. Okay, so I'll count to four and then we're going to play each string for four beats. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, four. So G, one, two, three, four. And D, one, two, three, four. And A, one, two, three, four. And E, one, two, three, four. Okay. So that should have reminded you what the four strings are, if you had forgotten by any chance. Um, and what we'll do now is we'll do another little exercise where we change the rhythm a little bit. So this time we're going to do a rhythm with four short notes and two long notes. This one I call everybody down up. Okay, so that is the rhythm, words fitting the rhythm. Um, other teachers use this and they might use some other words. 
Yeah. Okay, but it's just quite a good rhythm. So if I start on the E string, it sounds like this. Everybody down, up. So it's just open E at the moment. And we say that when we say the word down, we would like the bow to be going down. And when we say the word up, the bow should be going up. Okay, so try again. Everybody down, up. So we're going to do that again on the E string. And this time we're going to carry on and do the same thing all the way down till we get to the G. Okay, so here we go. After four on the E string, one, two, three, four. Everybody down, up. Everybody down, up. Everybody down, up. Everybody down, up. Okay, there you go. So that's just another little warm up for you. Okay, so I said earlier that I was going to teach two tunes over the four workshops. Now it's up to you. Um, it'd be great if everyone does all four workshops, but if you don't manage to do all four, even if you do two and learn one of the tunes, that's fine. So in the first workshop, we're going to do a song called Buena Jorke, which is the, the harvesting song, so it's a Gaelic song. And it's got a really great rhythm because this was a work song. So it's um, harvesting the oats. So the song is about cutting, cutting the crop, cutting the oats and harvesting the oats. Um, so we're going to do that one first and the second tune is going to be a reel. So we'll get to that probably on the third workshop. So what I'll do first of all is I'll just play you um, Buena Jorca. So you know the tune. Um, it's a great song and quite a few different Gaelic singers and bands have recorded this. Um, it's really, really catchy too, with a great rhythm. So here we go. One and two and... <laughs> Harvesting the Oats. So I'm going to teach you this tune by ear, um, which means that I'm not going to use the music to teach it. Um, but if you want to have the music, like I said earlier, that's totally fine. Um, you can print it out from the website or the Facearin website or the Facearin Facebook page. Um, so teaching it by ear, we just do a little phrase at a time, building, building it up until you've got um, the whole tune and we'll start just with the first part. Um, so this tune is in the key of E minor. Now don't worry if that doesn't mean anything to you just now, it's totally, it's not a problem. Um, all it really means is it's just telling us where our, where our fingers go. Um, but for just now, there's not really anything in this tune, there's not really anything unusual. You just need to know that the lowest note is D, open D and that the highest note is E, open E. So we're going between those three strings, D, A and E. And I'll start teaching, and if you find that I'm moving on too quickly, then remember that um, probably um, you're watching this and you can just pause it, okay? Whenever you feel like you want to just practice something a wee bit more, if you feel you haven't quite got that bit, then just pause, practice it a few times yourself, and then carry on. Um, that's that's the joys of learning from um, from a video. So, learning online. So here we go. We're going to start this tune. So it starts on D one. So that's our lower E, first finger on the D, 
And the first little phrase, the first bar is dead easy. So it goes like this. One, 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 open. So that's one, 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 open on the D string. Okay. Now it's got this little rhythm throughout the tune. It's a kind of, um, it's like a long, short, long, short rhythm. So you'll hear that all the way through it. Okay, so we've got the first note longer. Okay, so listening just another time. Okay, so you see that there's pairs of notes and the second note is shorter and there's a little lift to it. Okay, so... And if you can try and get that in, don't worry about lifting the bow off the string. Just try and make that, that second note a wee bit shorter. Okay, so that's the first bar. Let's try it all together. After two, one and two and. Okay, and we'll do it again. One and two and. Okay, brilliant, well done. We're going to move on to the next phrase because it's exactly the same fingering but we're on the A string. So now this is the same fingering if you're playing the fiddle, if you're playing another instrument. I don't know what fingering it is for you, but on the fiddle it's A string. One, 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 open, okay? So the notes there are B, 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 A. Okay, but for fiddle it's A1, first finger on the A. One, 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 open. Okay, so we're gonna do that after two. One, and two, and. Okay, and again, one, and two, and. Okay, so we'll try that again. One, and two, and. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll put the two phrases together. So we've got the first phrase starting on first finger on the D, which is also E. So it's one, 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 open. Then we move up to the A string and we go one, 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 open. So we're doing both those phrases joined together after two. Now one, and two, and. Okay, so hopefully you're getting on okay with that. Couple of little reminders. If you're hearing funny noises from your fiddle, um, remember that if your finger is not pressing the string down fully, then you might have this kind of sound going on. Okay, so remember, press it down, the finger on the fingerboard fully. Okay, other thing is just watch where your bow is. If your bow is drifting too close to the bridge or this way, then also you might not get a very nice sound. Okay. And if you've got a kind of scrapey sound and it's none of those sounds, it might be that you need a wee bit of rosin on your bow. So just, just in case, but hopefully you're sounding good. Okay, so those two phrases together a couple more times. So one and two and. <laughs> Okay, we're going to do that another time. A one and two and. Great, and when you move from the D string to the A string, try and just get it as clean as you can so that your bow is, is off the D string over on the A string. So tilting it over, using your elbow, dropping your elbow, tilting the bow over. Okay, we'll do it again. One, and two, and. Brilliant. Okay, we'll just do it one more time, just to make sure. One, and two, and. Great, 
well done. So that is half of the first part. So there's only four bars, four phrases in the first part. So it's dead easy. And then the second part, slightly unusually, the second part has six bars. Okay, so we're going to move on to the third bar. And if you're um, if you're needing a wee break or anything, then just remember you can just pause at any time and go at your own pace. So, okay, so I'm going to just move on to the third part. So that is starting up on the first finger on the A again. Okay, and I'll play it for you again. Okay, so you've got the same rhythm, the long, short. And that is from the first finger on the A to the open A. Now there's three little notes after that joined together in what's called a triplet. That's when we play three notes, when there's three notes joined together, three quick notes joined together. So the triplet is A, D3, A, or A, G, A, if you're playing another instrument and that doesn't make sense to you. <laughs> so A, G, A. All right, so that the full third phrase is first finger on the A, one, Okay, and I'll do it again for you. One, A1, open, open, D3, opening. So uh, with the correct rhythm and everything, one and two and. And again, one and two and. So hopefully you're doing okay with that. Um, so that's the third phrase. So what I'll do is I'll play all three phrases and then we can have a go at that and then we'll, we'll try and add on the last phrase, okay? So first phrase starts on D1, on E, D1. Second phrase up on the first finger on the A or B. And the third phrase on the same note, first finger on A. So I'll just play it first of all, have a wee listen. So we're going to try that all together nice and slowly after two. One and two and. Okay, we'll do it again. One and two and. Hopefully I'm not playing that too fast. I'll maybe take the tempo down a tiny bit just for, for one time through just now. One and two and. Okay, I said I would play it slower and I played it at exactly the same speed. So I'll try it one more time, a wee bit slower. One and two and. Okay, great, well done. Okay, we'll do this last phrase now. Um, so the last phrase actually starts off with a triplet with the three little short notes. So the last phrase goes like this. Oh, we've got some noisy cars going past the window here in the flat in Glasgow. Um, so the last phrase. Oh, now I'm distracted. So, oh yeah. And again is. Okay, so the little triplet is first finger on the A. Open A, D3. So that's your three quick notes. 
Okay. A1, open A, D3. So it's... And then you stay on the D3 and play open D after that. And that's the full bar. So there's the triplet and then the long short pattern. So... Okay, I'll do that again. Okay, we'll do it all together a couple of times. One and two and one and two and a wee bit slower. One and two and So um, what we'll do is we'll try and add that on to the, f the first three phrases and we'll give that whole first part a go through. Okay, so it's four phrases and they're short, so don't panic. So we start on D1 and then all the rest are starting on A1. Okay. A1 and two and... Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just do that a bunch of times. Now, normally, when you're playing this tune, you just play the A part, the first part once, and then you're on to the second part because it's a song um, with the two parts. Um, but for just now, just for practicing, we're just going to repeat that first line, the first part, um, round like four times just to give you loads of practice. Okay, so nice and slow. Starts on D1 after two. One and two and great so that takes us to the end of the first part that's the whole of the first part so well done and um, I hope you got on okay with that so we're going to finish this lesson there and um, the next lesson will be finishing off that tune and practicing the tune all the way through and then the third and fourth lessons I'll be working on a different tune on a reel Okay, so thanks very much. I hope you've had fun um, and I will hopefully see you um, soon. Cheers for now. Bye.